Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another TOS video. So we are finally kicking off the new series, Coach Me TOS. Right, whereby you guys send in uh, your gameplay and I will analyze it and then see how we can improve your gameplay. Right, so uh, when I start off this series, right, I didn't really tell you guys what am I actually looking for. Right, so I just want you guys to send in your genuine gameplay. Right, and then we'll analyze it together and then we will improve together as a community right so in this video uh in this series right where, where i coach uh or take a look at uh various gameplays of uh, different players right, we will take a look at our uh, team composition right as well as your spinning and of course last but not least the use of active skill right sometimes you have the card but then you use it in the wrong place or at the wrong time so all this matters within the battle right so this first video is sent in by Ray Zen, right? He's a level 387 player with a login days of 1310, which is quite a veteran player, right? So here he has sent in a Lionel play test. So let's take a look at his team members, right? So you can see that uh, team members wise, we have uh, his, you can see that we, here we go. You can see my cursor right here. So he have used a fire liner right which is cool any liner is good right and then followed by aloha so i think uh we can take a look at um the stage that he's attempting as well right this actually matters because of um you might bring in different team members for that particular stage right so this stage here is the tun siang uh bi-weekly battle right so we have fire liner we have uh aloha right uh sus um, Gemini, AR Gemini as well as Ameliorated for the Pankara. Right, so you can see here we have actually fulfilled the um, leader skill of Chaos, right, which have um, when there are four or more races in the team. So we have God, uh, three gods in fact, right, three gods, one human, one beast, and one Machina. Right, so uh, in fact, if this is pre patch like two patch ago, right, this team will not work because there will be only uh, three members in the uh, three races in the team because uh, Lionel here is actually human, right? So by changing it to Makina, you can see that this team is actually viable, right? So I'm not sure um, the there's two hard converters, right? Which is not really that ideal. Maybe you can swap Dipankara off for something else, right? So in my opinion, I think if you this team is fine, right? Aloha is fine. Sometimes uh, you might need a convert and stuff like that. Uh, situational right uh, in my opinion I think AR Gemini himself should do fine right let's take a look at Dipankara so Dipankara here actually um, takes the slot of a light member right? if you want to do a, a Lionel team that unleashes its maximum potential you want to run a five attribute a uh, five attribute team right? in this case you can see this team here is lacking a light member right so light member um, you can actually slot in Fafner, right? Fafner here is going to be light attribute with uh, amelioration four. Fafner actually have double sword amelioration as well. So, in, and with chaos, you can see that dragon HP times one point three. So that gives you the extra bulkiness of this uh, whole team setup as well. Right? So if you have Fafner amelioration four, that is fantastic, right? Because the more race in your team, the higher the multiplier in which it fulfills. Um, almost everything for this particular um, Lionel gameplay or, or team setup, right? Because we have uh, a mixture of a variety of teams here. Alright, so uh, having said that, the rest of them is fine. Sus is a very um, common card to put in a Lionel team, right? I use Sus as well. Uh, AR Gemini is fine. Uh, Aloha, maybe for the bi weekly battle. Right, so without further ado, let's get this um, bi weekly battle started. Alright, so I'm gonna pause here and there to take a look at um, the spinning and stuff like that. Okay, so this, I'm gonna take a look at what you do for this part here. Okay, I kind of spotted a mistake already. <laughs> All right, so let's go back. Let's go back a bit um, to the first part here. 
right? So the first thing I take a look at this board, right? What is it that you see in the member here that you want to fulfill in this first spin, right? Biweekly battle it is here for its um, simplistic setup, right? In which that you have like mini mobs every now and then, right? Like the first battle, the, the, the battle after the first mini boss and stuff like that, right? So you can see here, evidently there is one, two, three, four, five hard wounds. So here, you should take the chance to actually um, rack up AR Gemini's multiplier straight away, right? It's not that you need to heal or whether you need to, uh, I'm not sure whether you're reserving your hard wounds to recover in in the next few battles or whatever but you can see that evidently this mobs here is not going to deal massive damage to you all right and then you have five hard runes means that you can actually increase your gemini's multiplier by one all right so here um of course you have um missed that opportunity right and then you just left that hard rune on its own and then it got dissolved by sky drop right which is very unfortunate all right so there's one um missed out opportunity there right just to let you know so you can see here every n there is just mini mobs everywhere in bi weekly battle right so you can actually really take this time to uh store your hard runes whenever there is no um no five hard runes on the on the on the board you know what i mean right so you can see you went ahead to dissolve that three hard runes here right and then you end up with four and then you can't increase your gemini multiplier once again Right, so other than that, let's take a look at your spinning. So active skills are all not up, so we'll just focus on spinning for now. So battle. Okay, first mini boss. So we have an initial strike with uh, three electrifying runes. So I'm just going to predict how you're going to move this. Right, so here you can see that uh, electrifying runes here are all very, very close to each other. Okay, and then... Um, We'll see how you move the runes, right? In my opinion, I will say I'll hold this one. I'll hold this dark rune here. I'll move here, down, diagonally up, diagonally down. So you align the light runes, all right? Not that it matters, right? But that is one combo, right? And then you move down. You can form your water combo here, right? Align this column of four runes. And then you come here to align your earth, right? And then you can go up. You can go up and align horizontally for these water runes and then you can kind of you can kind of spin these earth runes here as well and then you stack you stack these um you stack these two earth runes right so th this is how i do it in, at, at at least right so you can see uh one two three earth runes here is going to be for these electrifying runes and then one two three earth runes here is gonna be another combo right by, by stacking this water rune here you can actually do a stacking and that actually increase the chance of your sky drop right so let's see how you're gonna do it oh <laughs> okay i'm not sure if that's an accident or what okay but um okay anyways you got you dissolve the um electric fire runes and managed to heal back right that was very close Okay, this is unfortunate. This is a very, very awkward position right, of uh, two dark electrifying runes here. Right, so you can see you kind of uh, struggle right, to move in between the electrifying runes. Like you took too much time to align the electrifying runes and you find yourself having difficulty um, trying to rack up more combos after that for your damage. Right, so you can see here. Uh, Fortunately, you kill off the Archimanja of Dark. If not, you are dead. Okay, and then notice that at this point of time, your Gemini multiplier isn't up yet, right? So, uh, I think it is still at times one because you have not dissolved a group of five hard runes at all. Okay, so you can see here you are still out of um. Oh, okay. Wow, that lag. <laughs> right, you are still. You s your bot still does do not have five hard runes because you're constantly dissolving um hard runes, right? Not that not that you'll die by mini mobs like this. Uh you can actually save conserve your hard runes, right? Like at this point of time, I would expect you to do at least one five dissolve for hard runes. 
Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so ah, uh, okay. So this is where you get your um. This is the reason why you bring Aloha. Okay, understood. Okay, that's that's not bad, right? For dissolve. Right. So uh, why? So you can just turn on sus. <laughs> right. So uh, one habit is um, you want you might want to take note of whatever cards that pops up right so uh why 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 do i say that is because um in some cases whereby uh, there is a neutralized reset up front the battle right you might want to on your enchantress in advance like once it pops up like on the sixth round or seventh round you might want to on it straight away so that it has time to cool down so before the neutralized reset stage uh, you can deactivate it and then it just pops back up right and then for you to activate it after the neutralized reset stage now of course there is no neutralized reset stage here right so i'm just giving you a tip um to you know somehow manage this enchantress right here because uh i know that she's not that important in this bi-weekly battle right but in future maybe like some ultimate stage or what um this might come in handy right by activating Surge early, you can actually increase your damage as well as start her cooldown as soon as possible. Right, so, and again, uh, to stress that your AR Gemini is still at multiplier times one. <laughs> okay, so let's continue with the video. Okay, so uh, just a heads up, boss here is gonna freeze um, your heart runes. Right, and that's pretty much all it does and constantly and it adds on more frozen runes after that right so let's see what you do you activated lino right so uh for for this case you turn off skill notification so for lino it's pretty much a damage reduction as well as a time up so we'll, we'll see what what happens now oh now you activate gemini okay okay this this is kind of an over convert right i think i have not used this term for very long because the, the converting meta is pretty much non-existent now right so you can see what you're doing here you convert your light to enchant heart you convert your earth to enchant heart using the two heart enchant converters right one thing you need to know is that Yes, by doing this, you can split up the hard runes to one shot. Maybe one shot um, bring AR Gemini's multiplier to the max if the, if it's possible, but it's unlikely, right? And then you have to know you have to know that a Lino setup or a Chaos setup here, hard runes doesn't possess effect of all attributes, right? So what you're doing here literally is wasting off all your runes and. Your, your four dark runes here is not is not gonna save you. Alright, let's take a look here. Okay, you activate Surs now. And then Um Chaos. Right, so you can see your stacking uh your time tunnel speed isn't very efficient. You can see that your dark runes is here. You can bring the dark runes here. Uh, instead of <laughs> Okay. Your dark runes. I know I tend to do this last time, alright, uh, which is why I'm very familiar with uh, this kind of time tunnel movement. Alright, so uh, a lot of people tend to clump all the similar colors together, alright, in which um, it's really, really not necessary. As you can see here, it is a perfectly aligned first row, right, three dark, three hard. You can put this three dark over here, and then three hard again, and three fire, three hard, three light, three hard. Tree earth, tree heart, and that's how you split up the, the, the combos. You know what I mean. So I know that earth is not uh the heart runes here is not gonna assist you much in this burst because it's really too much heart runes on the board, right? Never mind the frozen runes. The frozen runes you can technically just push them up to the top of the board and ignore them, right? But what you're doing here, you're missing out on a lot of combos, right? So you can see here, this one chunk is one combo. This L shape here is one combo. Three, four, five, six, seven. Right? If I were to align as what I mentioned just now, 
like three, 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 you can rack up so much more combo. And even if you have so much hard runes here, Sus, right, which gives you that combo bonus, right, you might actually do more damage than what you actually arrange right here. Right, so five, six, seven, let's see if there's sky drop. No sky drop. Right. So you can see the damage is unfortunately low. Right? So at least AR Gemini now is getting uh, a few, I think like three, three um, multiplier, three, yeah, three multiplier increase. Right? So you can see now you have more frozen runes to take, take care of. And by activating Lionel just now, you kind of wasted his active skill, right? You could have used it now, right? So Lionel, active skill, Chaos active skill doesn't stack, right? If you if if that's what you're trying to do, like Lino increases the movement time, Chaos increases the movement time, it doesn't stack, right? So, uh, you wasted the Lino active skill, actually, right? So here with a bot this messy, right? You can see there's partially frozen runes and there's fully frozen runes. It's very very difficult to spin. So at this point of time, you can actually use Lino's active skill, right, for that. Um, damage reduction as, uh, but most importantly the extended rune movement time to kind of um, move the runes here alright so you can see uh, now without without the liner active skill yes you can still move but thanks to Aloha here with a plus 0 0.5 movement time right thanks to chaos leader skill alright so fortunately you still have the craft and I think this should kill the boss, if not you're dead anyways. <laughs> okay, so you can see that there is a lot of um, miss spin here and there right from the beginning of the stage. Right, and then uh, AR Gemini has not, by now, you can, I can see many uh, missed opportunities, right, whereby you can actually rack up AR Gemini's multiplier. You should, it should have been maximum multiplier at this point of time. You can see at the end of battle, it's not flashing yet. Right, so... Uh, Definitely a lot more improvement you can do in terms of uh, active skill management and uh, your spinning. Right, so as mentioned, Dipankara shouldn't... You, you can swap Dipankara off because um, there is really no need for double hard converters. Not in this meta at least. Right, so I think that's all for um, this um, Coach Me series. Right, this is the first video. So thank you Ray Zen for sending in your videos. I think there's a lot more who sent in. Right, there was a few other videos, but I chose this one to kick off the series. Right, so those of you who are interested in sending in your um, gameplay for future analysis, right, do send me in this format here. Right, uh, I do not accept files, just send me your YouTube URL. Right, so if you enjoy this series, be sure to leave a like. And then of course, I would like to hear your comments as well as whether this series is um, well received or not. Right, so leave a like if you enjoy it and then as usual, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.